Not everyone knows this, but when I lost the Olympic qualifier, I had made the conscious choice to do a technique that I knew in my gut was not the right thing to do. And what happened was I was fighting. I didn't know this at the time because I didn't do research like I should have. But I'm going against a three, uh, the London 2012 Olympian for my spot at the Olympics. And we're fighting and the match is going well. And I'm actually leading going into the third round and near the, I think there was like six seconds left before I'd move forward and I'd have to go against Kazakhstan who I scouted already. And in those six seconds, I'm looking at my coaches, I'm looking at the other coach and I'm looking at the coaches all around us because we're in Manila. So everyone else is essentially a coach. And I look around and everyone's saying to leave, to address or run, just stall and run as you're going backwards. And then I saw my opponent throw a Nautabon. And most Nautabons, I would say 99.999% of Nautabons that get thrown against me, I either clinch or I kick into the spin. And the thought to do that had crossed my mind. It had actually crossed my mind that I should kick. But then another thought came over and said, no, you should retreat. And I retreated and I got scored on. And that tied the game. And eventually I lost in sudden death. And that was the end of the Olympic dream. Now I looked at that decision that night and I thought about that that night and the following morning because this is a kind of, that's the kind of decision I can imagine would haunt people for the rest of their lives. You are so close to attaining your childhood goal. You had literally worked 20 years to become to, to get to that spot. And you blow it because you, you didn't do what your gut said to do. And I thought about it and I went, what was the right choice? And the next day, a teammate of mine talked to me about it and said, well, when you're in the ring, you have to understand that there's a, your, co your coach is like the board of directors, but you're the CEO. You're the one who has to choose how to act. And so I said, that's pretty good advice. And um, I don't have, there's, I don't believe there's going to be another scenario where that's going to show up because I'm not, I don't plan on going to the Olympics. I understand how much time that takes and what kind of dedication it takes. And it's not something of a priority to me anymore. But I thought about that lesson at the darkest time where you essentially lost, I lost, I lost a spot. And then I remember a passage from I remembered a passage from a pastor that while I was going to one of the churches and it caught me off guard because he's giving the sermon about Moses and it's great. And there's these leadership qualities. And then he stops on this one little passage and it's stuck with me ever since. And he's going, Moses is leading them out of Egypt and God tells the slaves before they leave to take the gold and silver of their masters before they go on their way. And then he said, why God said to do that? I'm not really sure, but we're going to talk about Moses Blah, 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 blah. And I thought about that. And I thought about that. And I believe the reason that's in the Bible is because it's supposed to symbolize that even in your darkest times, there's a few jewelry pieces. There's a few little golden nuggets that you can take with you of value that you can take with you into the future. And so for me, the loss of my Olympic spot was to trust my gut and that even if the world is saying to do something, at the end of the day, I'm the one in the ring. I'm the one who has to make the play. And so for those of you who are thinking about doing something, thinking about starting your own business, thinking about doing a, an online course, a coaching group, whatever it is, whatever you're thinking about doing, understand that the people around you may give you advice. But at the end of the day, you're the one in the ring. You're the one who's playing. So don't be afraid of that. Don't be afraid to trust yourself and try. Trust your gut. Do what you believe you should be doing. And as long as it's putting good out in the world, 
I think you're going to go down a good path. That's the video for today, guys. I believe I got about nine more of these finishing out the 100 day challenge and finishing out the 28 day challenge. I got my course ready to launch or set to launch really soon. Really excited about that. Um, and thank you all for staying with me. That's the video for today.